you have to be silent Emma, you can't talk. Hello Jesse. Hello everyone. Um, welcome to episode 3, or like 3.5, because of that first one I did with Chris and Illid. And welcome back to the garden, much nicer weather, thankfully. Look where our umbrella is, not over us. It's over there, having a lovely time. And I've got my sunglasses on, shorts are back, I'm refusing to let go of the summer. Um, we've got a fun show today. Uh, we're going to do lots of different stories. Um, and I'm now introducing it and we were going to say we're going to wait for some people. Oh, do yeah, don't introduce yet. I think we've got our first viewer, but I would... Uh, first viewer. I'd Welcome, a... viewer number one. Uh, Alex Ashman. Welcome, first viewer. Congratulations. Hello. Congratulations. Uh, there are no prizes because we can't have any more kumquats because we're not allowed to eat anymore. Emma says. I think we've got our lovely uh, neighbour audience arriving currently in tears back from nursery. Traumatic time for everybody. Um, Del Evans is Del. on and sends hello. Hi Del, how are you? How are you and Alice? We could just have a chat, couldn't we? Just a little comment chat. Um, got my friends vamping in the background. That's what I like to do with all my friends, just make them make up random music. Do I have any stories for you guys? as we begin because the funny thing is when you watch back this is just like the beginning so I need to make this excellent content even though we're killing time right now um, do I have any stories? Any story um, about? you want to do an ankle update? ankle update what's the new physio? new physio is I'm adding jumps and hops still slightly a little bit swollen show us some but I'm allowed to do jumping this is what I was doing last night with our friend yes and let's not break an ankle on we live we shall TV. break an, an ankle on live live internet Pretend telly, um, but it's really good. Um, Karis hanging, hanging, hanging. Yes. Karis hug. hanging. <laughs> Karis, hi, Karis. More hugs. Giving everybody digital hugs. Um, yes, my ankle is doing really good. Um, check out these uh, olives. There's like real live olives going on here. Olive cam. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder are we gonna eat them like in like ten years time? Does anybody know how long olives take? Just a year. A year. But um, you have to be careful. The Sometimes crop. they get um, they get a little hole in them, and hey, it means that uh, there's an insect borrowed in, and then they're shall ruined. Shall we show? Shall we show the uh, the babies, the w winter vegetable babies, while we're killing time? Before everybody's arrived, how many's online now? Five whole people. Amazing. Oh. Um, so, and uh, hello to Paris will love this. I don't know which relative. I'm going to say my six. auntie Rosalind. Yes. Okay, so we've got. Wizard field beans, very good beans, resi resistant to uh, Thanks, labels, frost. Thank you. We've got swedes. Check out. Look, there's a tiny baby swede. Can you see it? No. I can only see your drive. Oh yeah. And turnips are coming up strong, even though nobody likes turnips. Who actually likes turnips? But we've currently got one, like two, turnips. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turnips. Excellent. Over here, we've got some more kale going. Little tiny babies. Beetroot's on its way. There's t one lone lettuce. Kara uh, says, Cara says no, no one. one. Family of five here, Alyssa and Felix and twins and Kevin. Um, we've got something special for you later on, Kevin. Um, shall we show the next day? So I planted winter veg over here, um, but then they got mostly eaten by caterpillars. Got some kale going. But I have a feeling in, inside these little bumps there are caterpillars who are just going to come out and destroy you. The uh, gonna do so well. These guys, like Sasha and Amalia, are on. Yes, they're on. Top okay, bands. well now we can just start. We've got the top bands. We're ready to go. Sasha and Amalia are here. That's all we need. Okay, let's um, reset and do the official intro. Reset and do the official intro because now that our guests of honor are here, I mean, guess you're officially now guest of honor because I've just said it. Um, oh yeah, Alyssa gets a star by her name now, doesn't she? Because she's a top fan. So everybody, you got to engage loads, and then you could become top fans too. I think um, Facebook decides it, but you know. You're all top fans to me. So, uh, yes, we have a show with loads of stories, music from all over the world today. We've got some really cool loop pedal stuff. I'm going to bring out my toy saxophone for some really cool solos. I mean, I'm already anticipating. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, we've got some garden updates, which you're all, I'm sure, mostly logging on for. Uh, Can we say what your parents' uh, feedback was to me? Oh, yeah, my parents, my dad said, hi, dad. Dad said, um, tell Emma to do less flowers and more people and music. So now Emma's going to intentionally probably do more flowers. This like for you, Bernard. Baby Rose. Actually, yeah, that's really cute. My baby winter roses. 
And I've survived got the summer. Little survived flowers the heat over wave. Here that I don't know what they are. Right, I have a question for everybody. Um, anybody who know who this lad is? He's a really bad printer. Hold but it still. We're going to start our uh, stories today with this fella. Who's this guy with a load of grumpy white men? They're really grumpy looking. And my question is, where is he in the world? He's clearly playing a fiddle. He's clearly rocking it. Um, but where is he in the world? We're about to find out. We have first piece uh, about this globe-trotting gentleman. I mean, um, uh, shall we go? Shall we just start? Do what this. It? Yeah, five minutes killing time. So well done for everybody who's punctually here and uh, ready to roll. Uh, my sunglasses are mainly me for making me look cool. We realised when we were rehearsing that no one can see my eyes, so I'm have to take them off. Um, we should come through the garden. We see who's playing, who's vamping today. Den's over here, he's here. People are like loyal fans are going to start tuning in just for Den's appearance. Yeah. Um, let's have a uh, let's have a clap for Den, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Den. Den is in the house. Oh, 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 great umbrella. He's ready for anything. Duo, Brendan Musk on the piano, Anna Brigham on the fiddle and loop pedals. Um, can you guys tell us who this lad is? This gentleman, 1800s, I believe. Am I right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> so, um, a little bit about Joseph Emity, who's, who's the guy in the picture there. Really bad um, painted. Sorry, Joseph. Well, you know he's. Oh, there's yeah. a spoiler for the answer. Oh no. Can anyone see? It's really small. Wait, it's not so small anymore. <laughs> hey Kate. That does actually um, tell you. A very you quick say? Um, hello to Kate Unsworth because she is the owner of... Oh, is she the owner of the lovely... Piano. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, to you, Kate. Oh, Thanks, um, Kate. Thank you for letting me play your piano, Kate. <laughs> Kate's in the Netherlands. She's got, she can't stop us. She can't stop us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not socially <laughs> distanced. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Joseph Emedy, uh, the, the guy in the painting there, um, is, is very sad, but no one really knows very much about him. Um, so he was born in Guinea in, in the Just 1800s, having my tea. as Jesse says. Sorry. Yes. Um, <laughs> born in Guinea, and um, he was kidnapped and taken to work in slave plantations in Brazil. By the Portuguese. Boo. By the Portuguese. Boo. Boo. Not just Boo. the Brits are bad guys. Not just the Brits. <laughs> basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole the whole world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty oppressive. When um, he was twelve. When he was yeah, he was twelve. How terrible. And he somehow learned the violin. Listen to me. How terrible. Let's talk and he was amazing. Somebody else's turn. <laughs> Are you, you're surprised. <laughs> um, so yeah, he somehow learned a violin along the way um, and he was really good and so eventually he was taken back to Portugal and uh, got employment in the Opera House in Lisbon. He was freed. Um, he was freed he as was well. Freed. Oh yeah, good, which is good. But, uh, but then he was kind of captured again, which is not so good. So Less good. But taken not, advantage by, of. Not, as a, not as a slave. Not as a, yeah, he wasn't captured as a slave, he was captured as a ship's fiddler, but he wasn't allowed to go ashore for a long time. So if you think lockdown is bad, imagine four years just having to play fiddle tunes on a ship. Um, and then eventually he was released in Cornwall and he stayed there for the rest of his life. And he was one of the most famous musicians that ever lived there, but he's been forgotten. Um, because he was black, no one really took his music seriously enough at the time. And um, yeah, so it's all been lost. So we're going to play a piece about the story of his life. So you hear a bit of music from all these different countries. Should we, um, oh, Jessie has just completely disappeared. Well, it's fine, she's gonna, we're gonna, she's we're gonna, gonna listen play from Ariana. afar. Yeah, she's gonna listen from afar. Get ready to go. So, anyway, stop her heckling us. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Eva Yeah, Nair. wow. We got people coming. Yes. Serious dedication to uh, the gang. Can we do a special shout out to my cousin Karen, who special hasn't been very well, but who <gasps> is on watching. Yes, Karen. Oh. You're such a legend. Get well soon. Get well soon. Yeah. It's a terrible time. But and welcome, neighbour. Hello. Uh, welcome. Oh. You're live on the internet. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Hi. laughs> we didn't ask for any sort of like, uh, what's the permission? Like Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Everyone could sign their consent. They're not allowed to go on the <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was Emily's voyage, written. I don't think you guys made that quite clear. Written by Brendan and Anna, right? By Brendan. Yes. By Brendan. By Brendan. And then oh, I no, was no, like, no. I don't like this bit. Can you change it? <laughs> <laughs> so written by Brendan, edited <laughs> by Anna, yes. critiqued by Anna. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so we're going to go um, to our st next story section. So you guys need to pay attention, right? So we're going to play a piece that nobody really knows about. Karis, you're going to be well excited about this because we can play this as part of the Jackan Trio. Um, this is a piece by Poulenc, which was music written for a play. It's called uh, L'Invitation au Château. Oh. I did German in school, so um, that's about as far as I go. But Invitation to the Castle. So you're all invited to the castle. Um, and this is a piece written, yeah, so written for this play uh, by, oh, did I write his name down? Yeah, Jeanne Anou. And then adapted Christopher Fry wrote to maybe Alyssa and Kev might know this rings around the moon anyone know that play I'm not a thespian I'm a lesbian so I don't know ha! That's, all that's, my really head. Good. that's good um so I don't know the play but apparently here's how we go right it's pretty simple uh Otto and Casper are you ready they're twins this is about two, two twins we've got Hugo a cold manipulative playboy who's it going to be I'm not going to blame and then we've got Frederick the sensitive brother right Frederick's in love with Diana She's a spoiled daughter of a self-made millionaire. Diana wants to go out with Hugo, the playboy, but he teases her and he's not having any of it. And then Hugo, to be mean, invites Isabel, who's a low-class dancer, and in a Pygmalion way transforms into an aristocratic beauty um, just to annoy uh, Frederick uh, and to show Frederick that Diana's not worth his attention. That's as far as I understand the plot, right? So we've got characters, Hugo, playboy, Frederick, sensitive, uh, Diana, spoilt and uh, Isabel who turns into an aristocratic beauty um, these are our people I don't know what happens in the story I did a bit of research and then I thought it'd be way more fun to make it up because we're taking tiny parts of it um, so we're going to do the introduction and then While it's number playing. six and seven my app is also being really annoying so thankfully I took photos at the last minute nice. so I'm going to have to use that um, so if I make mistakes it's because I'm of the uh, technology, I promise. So we're going to do an intro and then two other little pieces. And we would li invite, like to invite you guys and you guys to tell us what the story is. Because I didn't do enough research. No, it's not that. It's more fun this way. So what's happening in our story? And, uh, and we're going to, in the middle, get you guys to gi give us a, tw a plot twist and we're going to improvise. So first, music. just to be clear, while you play the first segment, you want them to tell you what they think is happening. Tell us what's happening in this music. And then you're going to play another play. segment. Yeah. And, and then, then we want to know the plot twist. Yeah, in a while. I'll set okay, that you up. Make so sure this is Poulenc, the invitation to the castle. Good idea, Brendan. I should tune. Oh. For you tune, I'll just say hello to our other favourite neighbours. My family. Sorry for the tantrums earlier. <laughs> 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 it was in tune. <laughs> I should have tuned before we started, but I didn't. We're a professional, you know, host prefer. Yeah. Uh, I, I came in tuned already this morning. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna. Emma, do you want to show like some some uh, flower cam? Just, just for you, Brandon and Rachel. I'm just gonna get on uh, my hotspot because now the photo's blurry because it's gone on the iCloud. It's technology. I should have printed it out. But I didn't. The worst okay. is the worst if you come here and uh, <laughs> read over my stuff. Right, I think we're ready. So, Act One, remember our characters, Hugo, playboy, Frederick, sensitive brother, and Diana, the spoiled daughter of a self-made millionaire. What's happening? Act One. <laughs> <gasps> She's charming. And then Horace. Horace says, "Et tu rouge." Too red. I don't know. There are hints. What's happening? <laughs>
we have a, a very good guest from Jen who uh, missed who all the characters were but decided not to let that stop her giving it a go <laughs> yes Jen yes. Um, and she wonders potentially did two people bump into each other argue but now they're dancing well Pretty yeah much. I mean yeah <laughs> well, I mean other characters Hugo and Frederick not getting on maybe in Hugo go oh, that was a dance wasn't it yeah. I don't know yeah. anybody well, else so get any ideas what do you think that story was about anybody in there was dancing there's yeah. definitely yeah. a dance maybe that was maybe that was uh, Hugo taking Isabel the low class dancer who turns into a an aristocratic uh, person maybe they're at the waltz that was my aristocratic movement um, anyway uh, moving on we're going to now go to Ecuador right Ooh. I need to fast uh, what, oh. Brendan, what are we doing in Ecuador? Oh, just to well. say, it's a good one. Oh, Amalia and Sasha wonder if uh, Hugo's eye might be roving as he dances. Hugo! Intrigue! You manipulative playboy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what the is. I mean, he's, he's living up to his, his reputation. So. Um, yeah, so we're going to go We're gonna go to Ecuador first. A little, well, little to journey. Well, well, potentially we're not. We basically... <laughs> we're all, yeah. yeah. We basically, right just before lockdown, when like COVID was a thing, but not really a thing because none of us thought it was going to be a thing. I was like, oh, look, all the flights are cheap. Let's book a holiday to Ecuador. <laughs> so we did. And it's in January. So technically, we it still might happen. Yeah. But we probably think that it won't. So um, we, we kind of wrote this to either celebrate or commiserate our, um, <laughs> our impending trip or non-trip to Ecuador. But it's based on a traditional Ecuadorian. Oh, speaking of which, now is also oh, the, yeah, time the time for the, for the promised. Oh, yeah. The promised toy promised saxophone. Uh, Felix will recognise it. He's played this before. Anyone ever played a toy saxophone before? Oh. It defies all expectations in wow. terms of how you play it. As you move your fingers down, the notes go up. What? Listen. It's also quite out of tune. Makes no sense. Mm. Anyway, so what we th thought we'd do is you're going to teach me one of the folk tunes yes. on the toy saxophone, and then yes. I'm going to join in in a cameo and probably do some rock and roll lunches oh, yeah. towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? So, what's the tune? So, goes. Oh, we need some, um, some, some power, don't I we? I mean, nothing's going out there, so. Oh, well. Oh, this is fun. This is what happens when you, um, you play with technology. Yeah, I'll check. Sunshine. No. Hey, nothing. Did you switch this off right now? No. No, I turned it on. Yeah. I did switch it off. Oh, that sounds I more electrified. It oh, it's off. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd switched it. I thought I was switching it on. Did you try turning it off and on again? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, cool. yeah. okay. Well, what's my tune? So. Oh, I don't have an F sharp, sure. Oh, yeah, so we were going to not do the yeah. F sharp. Because I don't have an F sharp, do I? No. So. So three E's. Oh. <laughs> Other way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Green, green, green. Yellow, red. Yellow. Yeah. Blue. Other blue. Turquoise. Oh, no. Red. Red. <laughs> oh. sharper than it is okay i'm just gonna riff yeah my practice in the corner while you start it yeah, so this is idea. has it got a name this is called we may or may not be going to we may yeah we may or may <laughs> yeah. not be going to take for a good title <laughs> like it um, also this isn't sounding very impressive is it no turn it up turn up to number one again oh yeah this, one. this loop pedal is quite a new thing for me now yeah, that sounds absolutely one. rubbish this is the problem with uh, taking the. Can you see that? It's fine, I think it's fine. Yeah. That that's that's yeah. yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, okay.
question as well. You need to make sure that everybody actually knows. You guys made it up out of your brains. Do you know there's the irony that the, the green button on a garden show is the one out of tune? But it is. Toy saxophone. <laughs> Very reliable. Um, are we going to do our... What's our next slot, Emma? We're going to do... <gasps> vegetable R.I.P. So, we're coming to that time. Coming to that time in the summer where the seasons are changing. The blackberries are nearly finished. The apples are finished. The apples are finished. Oh, it's a sad time. So we're going to show you some of our losses. Starting this morning, I came out yesterday. I'd lovingly, lovingly taken our yellow courgette plant and draped it all the way up on top of this lovely chimney here. It sat like this, glorious and resplendent, with giant green leaves. And, and I came out this morning and realised. I'd probably done this myself. I'm gonna blame the cats, but I think it was me. So, farewell, and it's yellow courgette friend. You had a good life. Shall they I were gonna be good big courgettes. That was a big, big loss. Second thing is our, our final courgette. Callum Owl will be very That's sad. That's a cucumber. far into the distance but no more cucumbers to be had I'm not am I allowed to pick it now Emma says don't pick it now I'm not, I'm not gonna pick it now and um, incidentally though a very cool thing I discovered you guys know about marigolds the flowers we got loads when it dies like this it makes these little pods and inside the pod there are marigold seeds so cool. Um, so that was another thing. So out of death comes something exciting. It was new life. New life. Oh, can we show off some new life? We have one sad segment. Giant. Push it. And it's the marrow. Okay, sad section. The Jesse Grimes inaugural uh, sunflower. This is the sunflower. The tallest sunflower. I think it's yeah. in the Guinness Book of Records now. And it refuses to die. Yeah. All the heads were chopped off. Has more heads. Multiple heads. <laughs> is, that, is that garden losses? That garden losses. Um, check these out though. I want to share some of these. This, I'm going. I'm going rogue, guys. It's not on the script. I'm not. I'm going off script. Off script. Wow. She's going off script. She's gone off script I and off stage. Please. I want to show the neighbours <laughs> can have some marigold seeds of their own. So each of these he heads has a load of seeds in it. It's like a ready-made seed packet. So, I'm going to give you some marigold seeds. You can explore them. I'll give you a couple because you can rip them apart and see. So inside, if you pull here, you can see lots of different seeds. I'll pop it here on the fence. Hopefully it won't blow away. It's so cool. It's like nature knows how to package things better than humans. Oh. Check it out. In here, if you pull those little things that are spiking out, you've got tiny seeds for flowers. And they all live in there. Ooh, Ooh yeah, I know. It's cool, isn't it? I'm going to chuck one over this way. <gasps> got it. I'll give you a few to destroy. <laughs> Feel free to spread them around this back area because, like, nice if you can still get marigolds and whatever else. Hey, Unsworth would like some seeds. Hey, Unsworth, we can send you a seed packet. Um, this is your payment. Oh, oh yeah. marigold seeds. Jen? That's more than we've had since lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to stop faffing um, because we've got another piece to play, right? Yeah. Um, we're going to go to the next section. So, where were we in our we're story? At, we're, we're at the dance. So we were at a dance. There was some arguing, some dancing, some eyes across the room where I they shouldn't be. I think we're still at a dance. Well, because it's the eyes have gone across the room to where they shouldn't be, so now it's the passionate, the passionate Argentinian tango. I agree. So yeah. I'm taking, it's a Sasha and Amalia t story that um, Hugo's eyes are roaming. And now we're going to do a tango, which is a very passionate dance. Okay. Oh, can I take an A again? Yeah. <laughs> okay.
Manipulative playboy, maybe seducing somebody. Um, anybody have any more suggestions about what that's? That, okay, so we're now going to do. We're now going to do the next little short movement. So we've got we've gone to a ball maybe. We need a bit more solidifying in the story. We've got some storytellers on here and in here. We've got Hugo. He's at a ball. He's he's making eyes with somebody else. We're going to play one more movement and then we'd like you guys to come up with a plot twist. And after another tune from these guys, we're going to improvise before we do our final section. That's Poulonk, by the way. So you've got the next tunes to let me know your plot so, twist suggestions. Okay. Um, oh, this is what? Very... Dave. He said very fast and Dave very... Very rascal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> very rascal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> take a bit of a delay with chat with you guys but that was fast and rascally um what's happened in our in our, in our story we want you guys to tell us what comes next so have a think and we're going to improvise the last bit before our last tune but now it's time for a jam right yeah um so for about maybe um five years i've been like I think I'm probably a creative genius, but I just don't have enough time to buy a loop pedal and create my own genius things. Um, an excuse which no longer really holds true. Um, so I thought I'd better, you know, prove to the world that I'm not really a creative genius. Um, so I, I wrote this piece um, while we were cat sitting, my sister's cat called Jimmy. Um, Jimmy, the cat. Jimmy the cat. Now Jimmy the cat um, has a, there's, so the, there's another cat which my other sister has. She got a cat because my sister got a cat and it looked the same as Jimmy because it's from the same parents so they called it Jimmy. So that's Jimmy the cat. And then my other, I've got loads of sisters, my other sister's boyfriend's mum got another cat from the same parents and didn't call it Jimmy, Aww. she called it Monty. So I've called this Jimmy the Third because, um, you know, Lorraine should have called him Jimmy. But because you're a creative genius, um, do you mind if we join in? Please join in. All right. Yes. I've got some instruments that we can 
play. We've got a frog, a ladybird, and a tambourine, and a shaker. Hello. <laughs> uh, and some bells. Uh, so we're going to have a listen first and then we're going to join in. More shakers. There's more stuff here. Don't worry, I've already hygienically wiped them all. Okay. Here we go. Jimmy the third. Jimmy the third. Okay. Make us stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Get involved. Crush your head at the same time. Yes! Oh. What a catch! Damn! Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even asked if you're musical. Do you want oh, one? I have no music. Throw it over everybody's music. You guys are. You all three don't have one. Okay. Ready? Ready? The third. Are we good? Thank you. 
Um, still thinking about what our plot twist is going to be, but we have one other thing to do. Keep thinking. We've got our birthday segment that's now a tradition because it was Emma's other nan's birthday. Happy birthday, other Stop nan. Birthday. Right. I'm meant to do the birthday. Oh, Emma's going to do the birthday. Do you want me to yes, hold no. it? You can look at Emma. No, no, yeah, okay. come on. Everybody look at Emma. She's lovely. Look at her. Yeah. So if you've got any birthdays, send them in. But it's a special birthday to my other nan who is, I think, 96 or possibly even 97. Super nan. Um, Super Nan, as Felix calls her. Yeah. And talking of Felix, it was Felix's daddy, Kevin. Yes. Happy birthday, Happy Kev. Happy birthday, Kev. Kevin. Any other birthdays? Happy birthday, everybody. Um, let us know. That's all and I can think of. But any birthdays uh, would have to be in the last week. That's the rules. Karen. And Thanks also nice. special friend, uh, special hi to my friend Nana, who is in Berlin. In Berlin. Okay, cool. Uh, so we need a, a, a. We should have said it. We need a, a, a genre of happy birthday. Yes. We didn't say it, know. and now we've got to wait 20 seconds. Didn't I say, you say it first, I'll say Do birthdays, I play happy birthday? did you listen? What type of uh, happy birthday should we play? What kind of? Um, I like the, the speedy fast and with the rascally music. Rascally, rascally happy, happy birthday. birthday. Rascally happy birthday. <laughs> rascally happy birthday. <laughs> any, other, any other suggestions on here? We can amalgamate. Uh, but we can also say hi to Kay, Callum yeah. and Jan who are on a ferry to Orkney trying to watch it. Wow! With terrible internet. Well done! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think rascally birthday is the winner. Rascally birthday. Okay. G. Yes. G. Take it away. Oh. From uh, Amalia and Sasha to do a reggae happy birthday. I could do a reggae yeah. one. Just one, mm -hmm. one bonus one. <laughs> somebody else to the dance he's got roving eyes plot twist we need something to happen well, there was some roving eyes and then there was more than roving eyes more than roving eyes with a very intimate tango <laughs> family show <laughs> the family show um we have some suggestions from a, our live uh, audience frederick uh, a, twisted live oh, a twisted ankle oh a twisted ankle a little plot twist oh we can't get on that plot twist suggestions okay. <laughs> A fairy no. meets a fox. A fairy meets a fox. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, okay. So and twist his ankle. Okay. <laughs> Any uh, more uh, plot twists? No. no. Fairy meets a fox. And then breaks his ankle, maybe? Yeah. That could be the ending. Just. Okay, so so yeah. well now, are the fairy and the fox Daddy friends? So or are they friends? The fairy and the fox are friends. They okay, meet. So oh, also, Sasha and Amalia. Um, would like well, a jewel. I think we could get a this jewel. all in. Okay, a jewel. Fairy gonna have a jewel, and then someone's gonna break their ankle. Okay. And then Jen says they wake up at the end, and it was all a dream. <laughs> no oh. pressure. But if you could okay. get that all in, fox or fairy? I think fairy. I think fairy. Fox. fox. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're foxier than I am. No. Uh, so one last one, just to recap. <laughs> so, yeah. so a fairy meets a fox. They make friends. Then one of them twists their ankle. The other one passes away tragically in an accident, but then they wake up. And it's all a dream. And it's all, and it's all, 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 all within. within. So I have um, I have this uh, thing that I do in schools, and we we do stories uh, of um, like music, right? And there are rules to the game, and three of the rules of the four rules have just been broken. Just <laughs> <laughs> so the rules are: no one's allowed to wake up and realise it's a dream. No one's allowed to die, and. I can't remember what the third one is. Okay, well, but, yeah, yeah. Rules, yeah. <laughs> this is within this, yeah, is, the, this no is boxes, within no. these rules, and this is we, our introduction within the genre of we invitation of the castle play, a little dream segment maybe. Oh, right, nice. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, 
We haven't met before. Patrice saying, Monsieur. And Horace saying, Monsieur. <laughs> or else I'll have Think to about what you will. <laughs> Me forward slash Jesse Grimes. Emma has something to say. All the profits are going to go to help musicians. Yes, Emma? Harry Winstanley. Oh, and Harry Wynn Stanley wanted me to pass on the great, great news that distantly over there in Beckenham Place Mansion, the English Chamber Orchestra recorded an amazing load of concerts called Tea Time Concerts, right? And guess who filmed them? My wife! Oh. Emma filmed them. So uh, you'll expect the same wonderful camera work. Possibly slightly more professional. Possibly more professional <laughs> and more cameras. Um, if you go on to the English Chamber Orchestra website, you have and all the details. English Chamber Orchestra forward slash live, I think. Forward slash live for those tea time concerts. Or I think £32 for all four. What a bargain! bargain. Something what like a that. bargain. Don't hold me to it. Our concert's <laughs> cheaper because you can decide how much you give us. So £3 or £3,000. PayPal.me forward slash Jesse Grimes. Thank you very much to everybody.
and thank you to the land of it, Gio, friend of us, and Anna Regan. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank, you. thank you to our um, garden neighbour uh, friends. We're here every Thursday this month. So next week we've got a French horn and a violin. No idea what we're going to be doing yet. Week after I've got a harp and a flute. So it's always going to be Thursday at 5.30. Week after that possibly a brass band extravaganza. And then maybe a reunion of the Jack and Trio. They don't know that yet. Um, thank you very much everybody. Bye!